Zach Ellsworth, and I'm standing in the shipping department at Stahl's Decorating Fulfillment Center. This is a high volume heat print shop, and we're gonna take you behind the scenes today. We ship thousands of units a day to hundreds of different locations, and we're gonna take you back to where it all starts to see how we get to the finish line. Standing in the warehouse, it stalls DFC, next to the receiving door where our UPS and FedEx deliveries come in. This is what we call our receiving department. One of the reasons that we created a receiving department was because we wanted to become a high volume heat print shop. So what does that mean to you? You can describe yourself as a high volume heat print shop if you have a dedicated heat press operator and you want that heat press operator doing nothing but heat pressing all day long. That's how we're defining high volume. One heat press, dedicated operator, and we build support departments around the heat press to make sure we are always heat pressing and making money. Packages come in the door and they can go one of three different directions. Behind me, you see all of the inventory that we keep here at Stahl's DFC. Inventoried items are typically from customers that are producing apparel items overseas with really long lead times. So we inventory those for a quick turnaround as orders come in to print on demand. The second direction that an apparel item can go when it comes in the door is into what we call just holding. It's holding for a short amount of time, whether we're still waiting for the transfers to come in or we're waiting for some final order details from our customer a apparel item can go into holding. The third direction that an apparel item can go when it comes into our receiving department is directly out to our staging department, which will actually be our next stop. Orders that come in and go directly to staging, we have all of the pieces for, we have the transfers, we have the apparel, we know the customer's order details, and it may even be a rush order, so we wanna get it to the production floor as quickly as possible. The staging department is probably the most important department to making sure your heat press is running all of the time. These folks are taking items from our warehouse that come out in a bin. They are unbagging, unfolding, matching up transfers, checking order quantities and checking transfer quality and throwing the orders onto a cart to get up to our heat pressers. Our heat pressers can then just focus on heat pressing. They don't have to worry about the quantities or to even really know what they're pressing. They just need to know the location and they can keep the press moving. Our apparel and transfers have been received in the door. They've gone through our staging department to get prepared to be heat sealed. And now we're in the heat seal department. An ideal setup for heat printing is a U shape. You can see a cart on both the left and right side of our operators while they're focused on moving items from the left to the right as they decorate them. The dual air fusion is a great tool for heat printing. It provides our operators the ability to increase output over a single head unit by over 50%. One of the most important production measurements in heat printing is the impressions. An impression is how many times the heat press moves up and down in a day or engages with a transfer. All of our operators are measuring impressions on a daily basis, and we're looking for, depending on the type of work, anywhere between 350 to 500 impressions per day per operator. One additional tool that we use at the heat press is a projector. We project a measurement of inches down onto each garment to make placement easier instead of using a ruler. We're back in the shipping department where we're doing some final inspection and packing everything up to ship out to our customers. As your heat printing business grows, you'll get asked to do more services as you get to this post-production or shipping part of the process. Some of the services that we offer is individual bagging, tagging, folding. You may get asked to do drop ships where you get an order for 200 pieces, but you might be shipping that 200 pieces to 10 different locations. Customer requests will get more complicated make sure you're charging for your services. So if you aspire, or maybe you are already a high volume heat printer, hopefully you can take some tips and tricks from this behind the scenes look at a high volume heat printer, Stahl's DFC.